Another week night here. We've got another project. This is a 2016 uh, Focus Ford Focus, and uh, it actually was in a wreck a while back. And the uh, back section here was all replaced. Like the um, the whole rear quarter here was all replaced. So my buddy Matt did a really good job there, and it looks good. So part of it though is the uh, the camber in the back is kind of jacked and uh, sounds like from the alignment shop that the uh, camber arms or at least one of them for sure in the back is is shot so uh, we got a pair of them here I'm gonna toss those in really quick and uh, see how it goes but this should be a quick easy deal and um, film the process here <laughs> First, uh, is a fifteen. Nice. It's got a captive nut on the back right there. Snow should be somewhat loose there. And then the last one's back, way back up in there. You can see. You got it. Moved a little bit. So we got our new one here and the old one behind here and we know that we wanted to add um, a bunch of degrees of camber. It was way negative so we want to add camber to it so we want to sit the wheel more upright, less stance boy nation. So uh, we know we want to add length to this from point to point. So what we're going to do is we got our pin in there and we have, have a little bit of length right now but we're, we're figuring it might be just a touch more so we're going to um, back these two jam nuts out and one's an inch and a quarter and the other one's one inch so we're just going to do that quick.
Okay, so we got the top um, bolt put back in, and then here's the bottom, so we're off just a little bit. We're going to negotiate that sucker in there and then uh, run the second bolt in. Okay, so here's the, um, we got this right there, that bolt put back in, and then we left the jam nuts. They're not like super snug because we might have to do a little adjustment here, but you can still see it. It's definitely got some negative camber in it, but that's because <laughs> we don't have the freaking lug nuts on it yet, but here, let me fix it. <laughs> but anyway, it, it looks, there we go, yeah, it looks way better, so. Uh, anyway, we'll put it down on the ground and screw around with it uh, and do some final adjustments. But basically, that double threaded part is how you undo that. And the weird thing we noticed is that the the uh, end of it here is actually like teles telescoping. So like the cast iron is threaded, and then or the steel or whatever it is. Then this is threaded, and then this is threaded in to into it. So it's like Kind of like got a telescoping thread. There's actually two threads there. So just something to look out for. And they're reverse threads. So that would be something that would kind of screw you up. And almost did us. So anyway, that's uh, pretty much how you do it. I don't think there's anything else. So nope. anyway, we're going to do the other side here really quick. And uh, thanks for watching.